everybody this is a very special video for me because I've been wanting to share something kind of interesting to bring us all back um, to memory lane and I'm very excited to open up the jewelry box um, that I used to have as a child and open it up and share with you guys what's inside now if you watched my vanity makeover video you'll notice that I actually grabbed a piece out of this jewelry box to use on one of the compacts that I made. If you haven't checked out that video, be sure to go check out the Whimsical Vanity Area Makeover. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in to this jewelry box. A little backstory, this jewelry box was actually my mother's, I believe in the 60s. I I think that this was from um, when she was a child. So it's even more special. It's dirty, It's it's been through some things, but I still think it's an amazing uh, piece of history that me and my mother would share together. So let's go ahead and open this jewelry box. Okay, so let's open it. And I can tell you my instant reaction is I am full of excitement and joy when I see some of these items. They bring back a lot of memories for me. I tend to be a little bit of a saver, I guess is what I will say, of things. And I'm so glad I am because I wouldn't be able to experience going back to memory lane looking at the items in this jewelry box and some of these things you might actually know about some of these things you guys actually might remember now I was born in the 80s and I was raised obviously in the 80s and 90s as a child so some of these things may spark some memories for you so I'm excited to share with you each item that I find in this jewelry box the first item that I'm going to share with you guys because I do have a beauty background and I thought this was so fun and I'll have to say that looking online to see if I could find this item to see what year it was from, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I do think that this was probably from the 90s and it's because of the color. Um, <clears throat> it was a popular color in the 90s and you'll know why if you have any idea of what makeup to look like in the 90s. So this first item is a pink Maybelline eyeshadow palette. This is so teeny tiny and so funny because they don't make them like this anymore. And the reason I think it is from the 90s is because it's white. It's shimmery white and if you don't remember in the 90s, white eyeshadow was super popular. So pastels, white, everybody was rocking that. So yeah, that's our first item and it just brings back so many memories. Okay, the next item that I'm gonna share with you is from 1996. And the only reason I know this is because the date is printed on it. But it must have been a time, it looks like a summer vacation. It's four ticket stubs to the Aquarium of the Americas. And the Aquarium of the Americas is in New Orleans, Louisiana. And we lived extremely close to Louisiana, or New Orleans. And that was always our quick vacation as a family when I was growing up. These tickets are from August the 10th, 1996 which would have put me at a teenager during that time the next item I'm gonna share with you I don't even know if they make these anymore this one's been through some stuff but I can remember wearing these clips now this is definitely from like my elementary years and probably, I mean, I don't think I would have worn this in middle school, um, but it's a hair clip and it's the ones that we would pop open, slip our hair into, and then lock close. And I remember this clip, but yeah, this had to have been from when I was in elementary school. 
You guys will have to tell me if you had any of these items in the comments below. The next item, I don't have the matching set, but it doesn't even matter. I actually don't think they make this type of earring for children anymore. And I don't know why, because I know a lot of kids have sensitivities to metal. But back in the 80s, they made plastic earrings for little kids. And I'm gonna give you a close up of these items um, in some clips right next to me. But um, yeah, these were plastic back in the 80s. And I kind of appreciated that because metal always irritated my ears as a child. So that's the next thing that I found in this jewelry box. The next item in the jewelry box, actually they're not around anymore. This business actually closed. And I'm actually not sure why I saved these, but being the sentimental person that I am, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it is dirty, 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 dirty. Planet Hollywood napkins. Now this had to have been from the trip in New Orleans because Planet Hollywood, the closest one where I was growing up was New Orleans, Louisiana. So um, yeah, I saved two Planet Hollywood um, napkins. Now Planet Hollywood was super cool for me as a child. It was a restaurant and inside, because I love antiques and things like that, um, Planet Hollywood actually had celebrity memorabilia. So they had um, maybe some movie memorabilia or uh, their clothing or things like that. So it was really cool when you would go into Planet Hollywood and you would see all of these celebrities items in a display. So that's pretty cool, especially since they're closed now. Okay, what else do I have in here? Some of these items, I don't even know if you guys care about them, but I'll still share with you. I'll, I'll, still, I'll still share them with you. All right, so the next item I'm gonna share with you is, this I believe is a Girl Scout pen, and it couldn't have been from me. It had to have been from my sister. Um, my mother was actually a Girl Scout leader and my sister was a Girl Scout as well. I was a brownie and I'm kind of wondering if this is from when I was a brownie, but I'm not sure. But I still have it and um, yeah, that's, that's super cool to see. Brings back a lot of memories. I can remember being a brownie and I was so proud to be a brownie that in kindergarten, I can remember wearing my outfit to school because I was so excited to, to show everyone that I was a brownie. And I can remember like taking a nap in my brownie outfit and just being extremely proud of being a brownie. All right, the next item is this key ring, which is interesting. So back in the day, Engraving was a little different. Well, it's not, it wasn't a little different. It's a lot different than it is now. But I can remember engraving being like this, and this had to have been from the 90s, especially since, I don't know, why would we have had a key as a child? So this had to have been either my sister's, or maybe it was for our house key growing up. Uh, I do remember this, but I can't remember what it went to. Okay, the next item is this. This is an authentic, I should probably not pull it, it might be a little delicate. This is how you could replace your shoelaces and then you could put this in and slip in and out of your shoes super easy. This is definitely from when I was probably a kid in the 80s early 90s and yeah you would put these in your shoes take out your old laces and then you could slip on your shoes a little bit easier do you guys remember these if you were from that time period i actually can remember this one but yeah they came in all types of different colors and it was always kind of fun 
but yeah, that's in there too. Don't know why, but it is. All right, the next item is an eraser. This is definitely super, super old, you can tell. And I actually remember this eraser. In school, you could purchase erasers and they had seasonal ones. Like you could go to the canteen in the morning or during break and you could purchase erasers, you could purchase pen grips, um, you could get different types of erasers, but this was definitely from my childhood. Now the next thing that I have in this jewelry box, I'm just going to share with you all of it because they're kind of in the same category and it's really costumey. Um, so it's costume jewelry. I assume this is from my mother. I have no idea. I don't remember my mother wearing anything like this. I do remember this one when I was a child, but I don't know. But these were in there and they must have been from the 80s or 90s or even before that. I did find some necklaces from when my mom um, wore her necklaces in the 70s, which was really super cool. Um, they weren't in this jewelry box, but um, yeah, so these had to have been from that time period. I don't know, would I wear it now? Maybe, yeah, I would. So this little thing has been through it and I can remember this when I was a kid. I don't know what this key goes to. I'm pretty sure it doesn't go to anything, but I know I was a small child. So I probably put this key on there pretending that it was a key to my car or my house when I was a kid, but it's an old, old, old birthstone keychain. Um, and this is my birthstone. So this is definitely mine, but yeah, and it's got this old key. It is so rusted. But yeah, I can remember this very well. I'm sure my parents got me this at some point in my life. I don't know what this is or why I have it, but I actually, oh, okay. I think I know what this is from, but I, I don't know. Let me show it to you. This is, I guess, Peter Pan. Um, it looks like there's Tinkerbell right here at the top of his shoulder. Um, I'm assuming that I have no idea what this is from or why I have it, but it must have been something that I played with when I was a kid. Here is a doll earring and it's a plastic doll earring and you were able, I don't have the set, but at least I still have this one. Uh, you could just stick the earring in the hole of the doll. I don't actually know why I have this because I was kind of... I was I didn't really play with dolls that much I think I liked the idea and then once I got them I didn't really play with dolls um, I, I was kind of a mix between a tomboy and, and a girly tomboy so I didn't really play with girly things I was really outside in nature kind of like I ha I am today I was always out in nature playing outside so I wasn't really into the imaginary doll playing situation so I must have received a present as, as at Christmas or something like that and they just thought that I needed a, a doll but I can tell you that I really didn't enjoy playing with dolls as a kid. Goodness, these things. Oh wow. I, I don't know. These had to have been from when I was a kid. I did wear glasses but these are awfully tiny. I'm not actually sure where they're from but they definitely um, are teeny teeny tiny glasses so I am a glasses wearer or a contact wearer but yeah here's some little tiny tiny glasses that I had and I assume they're from my childhood but yeah oh this is so cute I don't know this probably I don't even know where this came from but my dad was a Dutch immigrant and we had wooden shoe, Delft blue and things like that, tulips everywhere. And this is no exception. So I just found a teeny, 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 tiny wooden shoe in my jewelry box. That brings back so many memories because my dad is no longer around and so it's very nostalgic for me to know where he came from and then 
where we came from and why he came to the United States. So it's always very, it's always a really good reminder of being grateful for for what your immigrant parent did um, to better their life and yeah, so this is a great, great memory of that. Looks like we have some more costume jewelry. This definitely is from the 80s. I'm actually scared to pull on this. This is not a Mardi Gras be bead, you guys. This is actual jewelry. It has the locking mechanism at the top. At first, I thought that this was a Mardi Gras bead, but it is not. This is something that was definitely worn in the 80s. I assume it's got like this it's red with iridescent an iridescence to it which is kind of funny but yeah some more costume jewelry this is another jewelry this is another piece of costume jewelry and it is definitely worn out it looks very 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 delicate you can see it's stretched out but this is definitely from the 80s It's actually kind of cute, a, a little whimsical. I'm kind of wishing that it still had some strength to be able to wear it. But yeah, it's definitely delicate at this state in its life. What else? We've got an old watch. I don't know where it came from. It doesn't even have, it's broken. Some more costume pieces. This actually looks like something that may have been from my mother's mother. I have no idea. But like I said, this jewelry box is coming from the 60s probably, so there's I probably uh, acquired some of her jewelry in this box as well. Here's some other pieces, some necklace charms. And I think there's another one. This had to have been from like the 70s. Definitely. This was not mine. This had to have been from my mother. It definitely wasn't from my sister either. So yeah. So I think that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this jewelry box opening and me exposing to you some of the things from the 80s and the 90s and I think even earlier there's been some pieces that have been added into this jewelry box since it was passed down to me. So I think that some of these pieces were definitely like from my grandmother or my mother as well so um, that was super fun and super nostalgic and I'm so grateful that I held on to these pieces I would love to know if any of you guys remember any of these things in the comments below so I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to go come if you want to come along with me on another adventure be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next one